Hi, and welcome to our market report for November of 2023. Rachel, why don't you talk about Essex County? Yeah, so in Essex County, there were 507 properties sold. The median sale price for single family homes was 700,000, which is up 10K from last month. Median sale price for condos was 430K, which is down 30,000 from last month. Hmm. Highest single family sale was 38 Masconomo <laughs> Street, that's a mouthful, yeah. in Manchester. It listed for $13,595 and it sold for $11 million. The lowest sale price was 97 Northridge Road, Unit 97 in Beverly. It was listed for $145,000. It sold for $149,900. Wow. It's a condo. It's a, con it's a condo. Cotton, okay. And in Newburyport, 12 homes sold. Average list price was $1,196,000. Oh my goodness. Average sale price was $1,242,000, so clearly higher than ask on all of those. And the days to offer were 12.5, so things are still selling quickly. Um, and here's a, another thing, things that were taken off the market, so they were expired, withdrawn, or canceled, there were eight. So things are coming off because we've become a seasonal market, which is interesting. Yeah. For condos, 10 sold. The average list price was 731370 The average sale price was 736000 And days to offer were 10. And of the properties that have been taken off the market, there were three. Condominiums. Condominiums, yeah. yes. Interesting. In Newburyport. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about Newbury, sweet little Newbury. Um, of single family homes, there were three sold. The average list was $1,358,000. The average sale was $1,252,000. So a little under ask. Mm -hmm. um, and the days to offer 28. And there is a subdivision over there that's in that price point. Could, that could be yeah. skewing the numbers because as we always say, if it's a small market, it's a small sample and the numbers get skewed a little bit. Um, there were three properties that were single family homes that were expired, withdrawn or canceled. Um, that Some of those will pop back up in the spring. Yeah. What about condos? So, Newbury? yeah, I know. Uh, one condo sold, it was listed for $599. It sold for $560. Uh, days to offer 17 and one condo was taken off the market. Interesting. How about your little town in West Newbury? We love West Newbury. Yeah, West Newbury. <laughs> Three sold this month. The average list price was five thirty nine, which is low for West Newbury. Yeah. The average sale was five sixty. Uh, Days sold offer sixteen. Three were pulled from the market. Interesting. Now Amesbury, which has always been this the whole last two or three years super yeah. robust. Four sold, uh, which average, is so really much lower. Like, <laughs> that's nothing. Yeah. Um, six ninety seven two twenty three was the average list, and six forty four nine seventy three. Is the average sale meaning that things are going for less than asking? So for the first time in like what, three years, yeah, yeah. Days to offer twenty seven point seven five. So yeah. we're seeing a little market shift. Yeah, uh, things that were taken off the market, expired, withdrawn, or canceled. Just two. Seven condos sold in the month of November. Five sixty three was the average list price. Five fifty was the average mm. sale price. 22.8 days to offer. One property was either expired, withdrawn, or canceled. Boy, this is a different song than we were singing last month, that's for sure. Yes, it is, yeah. But, you know, I, we are returning for the first time in a long time to mm -hmm. a seasonal market. I've been watching MLS since after Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and I've noticed that it's like one property coming on the market, one property here, one property. It's like there's very few. A lot of price changes, price reductions, um, and a lot of properties are going under agreement. Mm -hmm. A lot of properties are going under agreement. Yeah, yeah. But at lower than asking price. Correct. So we, we saw that with our inventory. We had three or four go under in the last couple of weeks, and, and yeah. they all were off price, but everyone was happy with the outcome, so yeah. that's all that matters. And, and you know, if you're a buyer that's thinking, well, the interest rates are really high, I don't know how I can afford to buy right now. Mm -hmm. There's a massive opportunity with these properties that have been sitting on the market because there are many of them. Mm -hmm. You could always ask the seller to buy down your rate as part of your offer mm -hmm. to contribute, you know, ten thousand dollars to buy down your interest rate. So maybe you, you end up in, you know, the six point seven five or That's six and point. a half, um, and maybe you know you don't offer under asking. Mm -hmm. Maybe you offer full price, but you ask for that concession. Or or you ask them to pay for all your closing costs. Yeah. So then out of pocket, you have no expenses. Exactly. And I saw some numbers that showed that if you ask for a buy down, 
you actually had a lower payment than if you asked for a $50,000 price reduction. Right. So it's a really good strategy. Yeah. And I think that people are more creative. In the past um, two to three years, it was pretty much my way or the highway for the right. sellers. That is not the case right now. Yeah. Um, I think if the rates drop, um, we could see a, a uptick in activity, but right. generally you did a little analysis too on year to date this year and last year in terms of the amount of sales and it's dramatic, isn't it? Yeah, and I actually put all of November sales for 2022 and 2023 into ChatGPT and mm -hmm. I asked it to give me an analysis of all of it because <laughs> yeah. it's easier for our computer to do it. And the general consensus was prices are still going up, mm -hmm. houses are still selling quickly, but the amount of inventory available has drastically reduced. Wow. So that was the, that was the consensus. It says that it's still a strong market, it's just there's not a lot. Not a lot to buy. I'm glad, because I just said that to someone on my way over here. So there oh, well, there you go. All right. Well, next month you'll get our 2023 wrap up of the, of the year. Yep. So look forward to that, and we'll see you on the next one. See you on the next one.